happy boy. It's refeed day, let's go. We have first meal, which is two bagels, two eggs, 100 grams of salmon, but I didn't have 100 grams of salmon, so I made up for it with a little bit of chicken. And you don't even understand how excited I am to get tucked into these bagels, because for the past like two weeks now, I've just been like digging and having no food. My physique, I'm the leanest I've ever been but I'm really flat, so I do need this refeed day. Flat basically just means like, you don't have carbs in your muscles pretty much, so they're not popping. So after the day, the muscles should be popping, and I should be looking insane. Yesterday and the day before is the worst I felt this entire prep. Yesterday I was dragging my feet the whole day. I felt like absolute shit, so I need these carbs, and I'm so excited. Let's get tucked in. All right, bagel number one. It's crazy how much more you appreciate food when you get it taken away from you. Have I got ketchup? But I'm just looking down like by my camera over there and there's like ketchup over there. Yeah, when food gets taken away from you, you really appreciate it. I weighed in at 163.8 pounds. Yesterday, I think I was 163.4. So yesterday was my lightest weigh in, but today still in the 163s, which is pretty crazy. That was absolutely delicious so that's meal one i'll put the calories and macros for meal one right there bro you're gonna push me off the stick oh stop <laughs> <laughs> we're rolling we're rolling all right we're walking to the shops now obviously as i said earlier this will basically just walking straight after your meals will basically like level out this insulin blood glucose spike or whatever it is rather than the spike being like this you're gonna walk and then it's gonna be like that. So then you won't feel as hungry. And also just walking, getting my legs moving and stuff, <clears throat> and my body moving, I'm gonna be storing the carbs that I just ate in my muscles better, pretty much. Bro, honestly, right now, I feel amazing already. After just like having some carbs, I genuinely feel like a, nor like a normal person. Like I feel like a normal person. It's crazy. Everyone was talking. And I felt like I was like involved in the conversation. I felt literally like I was high. I'm not even joking, which is which is like absurd that two bagels can do that to you. It's free feed day, and I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. But we're we're walking to the shops now. I'm gonna grab a monster because the caffeine will actually hopefully help suppress my appetite. Plus, it just tastes nice as fuck. Plus, it's just a ritual that I do every day. Plus, I literally like giving my money to the shop that we go to. So. Do you sell twiglets in here? Fairly, you got any twiglets in there? All right. Um, we just secured the monster. Let's get a little taste test for the boys. Beautiful sound. Cracking open a monster. There's nothing quite like it. it. Tastes just like normal, mate, because I literally drink this at least once a day, every day, the past five weeks, probably. Okay, it's meal two time. I've got 130 grams of uncooked weight rice and 190 grams of uncooked weight beef mince, and then just some vegetables, literally. The veg is just used to help me poo, pretty much, because it's got fiber in it, obviously. As long as I'm eating my veg, then hopefully the food that I'm eating will still be getting passed through my body and out the other end. Should I show you my meal? Oh yeah, show them. Emma's gonna show you what she's got. First of all, is a bottle of water, and a boost bar. We've got a boost bar. These are such good All right, I don't think they need it that close to their face, mate. It's just such a good chocolate bar. But yeah, anyway, this is meal two. I put the calories and macros for the meal. Right there. Ooh. All right, I was about to say I just got back from a walk. I didn't just get back from a walk. But after that second meal, I did go on a quick walk. I'm, I'm just gonna walk after all of my meals today. Just help the digestion. Just can't be bothered to be bloating. Like I feel great. So let's actually put in a bit of work. So I make sure that I constantly feel great throughout the day. Anyway, it's the pre-workout meal time. So meal three. And I'm excited for this meal. This this fucking meal is gonna be a fortnight event, mate. Alrighty, so big glass of water. Who cares about that? We've got 10 grams of peanut butter, 10 grams of dark chocolate, 100 grams of banana, 110 grams of oats, two scoops of protein powder. And then I've whacked a load of salt in here as well. Let's get that peanut butter bite. Mmm, my goodness. 
Christmas. That is absurd. I do eat this every day to be fair, but obviously it never fills me up because it's never enough. But today, this looks like it's gonna be enough to actually do, do my stomach some work. Refeed days are there just to sort of like check your physique out, see how many carbs you need to fill out your, your muscles. Because basically, when you're in a deficit for a really long time and you're depleting your muscles of glycogen so you can burn fat, you're gonna be flat. So although although I'm shredded right now, I'm flat because there's no glycogen in my muscles. Refeed days are gonna use all these carbs to fill my muscles back out. So it's sort of good testing, because you do this before your show on like peak week. So it's good testing to see how much you need sort of thing. That and then also just like helps you to like keep pushing. Know that you're gonna push until you get a refeed day. And then it's like, right, refeed day resets you and then you can push again. Put the calories and macros on the screen for this meal right here. Yeah, the time is half four. I had to wait like two hours for that food to digest because that was a pretty heavy meal and it sat in my stomach for a while. So I went on a walk right afterwards and then I just played some Rainbow Six Siege for an hour and a half or so. So time to go to the gym. I'm not gonna show too much of the workout. I'm just gonna show a little bit because obviously this is a full day of eating. Um, but I just wanna show how crazy the pump is gonna be because already just like, if you look at my vascularity, I'm just like, I feel it in my in my hands. So this should be a pretty good workout. I will see you at the gym. Bye, mate. You know what? Seeing as this is a full day of eating, I'll show you everything that is going in my body. I'm gonna take some pre-workout today. Overdrive, code hard if you're gonna save some money off. But yeah, I haven't really been loving pre at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. Um, which is surprising, because you would have thought that like, because I'm in a deficit, I wanna be like taking this shit, suppressing my appetite with the caffeine and just actually helping with the pump, you know? But I actually really have not been enjoying it whatsoever. So it just like doesn't sit very well on my stomach. I'm not a massive fan of this flavor as well. So it just hasn't been tempting me that much. But today, seeing as I wanna maximize the pump, man's gonna take some overdrive. <laughs> I just want you I just want you The words I never said But wanted to I'm losing you I'm losing you oh, But these thoughts won't let you go They keep running back to you workout meal time we've got 130 grams of i don't know what these are called uh they're like flakes though and they are by far the best cereal i've, I've had on prep because i'm i'm allowed like high sugar low fat cereal an example of a high fat cereal would be like craze something like that but like cocoa pops and things like this they're low fat so i love this so 130 grams of this This is so good. I mixed in um, 
two scoops of white chocolate uh, protein powder as well. The idea of cereal and protein after a workout and like low fat after a workout is that the carbs and the protein are just gonna get absorbed into the muscle as soon as possible straight after your workout so you can start like rebuilding and replenishing your um, your muscles that you've just absolutely destroyed. So low fat, high sugar, carbs, protein, go straight into the muscle pretty much. Also, the spike of insulin like helps the protein even more. So preferably if the carbs are high sugar as well, which the cereal is, um, that's kind of what you want. <laughs> Holy shit. That was actually difficult to get through. Like, I'm not even joking. Near the end of that, I was like, hmm, this is starting to like taste not very nice. Like this, this is filling me up a lot. But we got through it. Of course we fucking got through it. Even I could get through anything, mate. Anyway, I've gone for, uh, instead of the pineapple, one apple and one orange, and it works out like roughly sort of the same. Let's get tucked in. I'm really hoping this is a pink lady apple because pink ladies are literally the only good ones. This better not be like a royal gala. It kind of does look like one though. Pink lady, mate. After this meal, 100% walking because that bowl of cereal was a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. I put the calories and macros for the cereal and the fruit on the screen right here. One more meal of the day. All right, final meal of the day. We have um, 75 grams uncooked weight rice, 170 grams of chicken breast, and then some veggies. And then also, I've got all my supplements for the day right there. So we've got magnesium, krill oil, um, vitamin D, creatine, and what's the last one? Collagen. I'm pretty sure collagen's good for like your skin and hair. So I thought I'd just get it on my most recent order. In one go. So with this meal, I'm just gonna whack on a little bit of barbecue sauce. Usually I've been having 50% um, less ketchup, like the less sugar ketchup. Um, but obviously it's a refeed day today, so I'm sure having like a bit higher sugar sources is gonna be fine. So yeah, let's get tucked in. I'll put the calories and macros of the last meal right here. But yeah, this has been good. Today I've felt so good. From all these carbs like i really need this um even from like a mental point of view i feel like this is going to help me push for the last like couple weeks um because this will probably be the last refeed that i get depending on how i look tomorrow just start getting creamier and creamier we can add a bit more water if things start to get dry the one thing i've been loving watching recently this guy he's called Let's cook. All of his shorts are so good. Like he just makes these like sick little meals and they just look so appetizing. It's crazy. Surprises on. There's just, there's something great about watching people cook on YouTube shorts. I never watch it on, I never watch it on TikTok or Instagram reels, but on YouTube shorts, I always watch like cooking videos. I challenge Ben to make me the best cookie he possibly can to see if it will blow me away. Look that bite. Nine forty-six, and that is my full day of eating done. I'll put the calories and macros on the screen right here for the entire day. That was very yummy. I enjoyed today. Day was good, and hopefully, hopefully this carries over. Like the energy from today carries over for the next couple of days, and um, that would be amazing. Because after this, this will be the final dig for the show. Next week's video, you'll probably see me. Like, I'm gonna be dead next week. But that's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. Full day of eating on a refeed day. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Like and subscribe. And comment. Comment barbecue sauce for the algorithm.